The flight from our town centres has been... It's been a slow decay. A lot of people now can't get what they want to need, so you have to go to either Ripley or Derby or East Good to get it. I mean, there's a supermarket there, what, closed? Can't do nothing with it. A new report shows visitors to our town centres fell nearly 4% compared to this time last year. One in ten shops in the East Midlands is empty. Some traders blame competition from the big boys. There are also town centre parking charges and the huge growth in shopping online. Sometimes you'll see when people get paid, they'll come in for the first couple of weeks and then towards the end of the month, they're not coming in. And, and you notice that. And if it is a hard month, then people are not coming in at all. Internet shopping may be one of the reasons why our high streets are suffering. But here in Hina, ironically, they've turned to the internet as a way of encouraging Um, as far as I'm aware, nobody locally knows who's behind Love Hina, but um, it's great and it is a talking point. A lot of shops have closed down, a lot of boarded up. Hina has also applied for financial help from the government and has made this video to support its case. It's part of a scheme devised by retail guru Mary Portis to breathe new life into our town centres. If we're not very careful, you know, places like Hina could become ghost towns and uh, we're determined not to let that happen in Hina. And there's every reason for optimism. The Euros and the Queen's Jubilee could well bring the crowds flocking back to the high street. Peter Behan in Hina for Central Tonight.